afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Chicago Cubs and the San Diego Padres. Into the box now, Javier Baez, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Fastball, strike three called, and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the multi-gold lover, Jason Hayward. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Lamette has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. And those innings have been a real struggle for him. Case in point with his whip. It's over two. So getting outs has not been easy. And there's out number two. Here's Chris Bryant now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ball and a strike now to Bryant. Two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Bryant looking at a three and one count. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. The catcher, number four. Bryant, the runner at first with two gone. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Here's Juan Ligares. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He's fallen behind now, three and one. In past meetings with Jose Quintana, he's only two for ten. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Here's Will Myers. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff wall. Now the payoff pitch home. A runner at first with no outs here. On a good curveball gets him swinging for route number one. Next to the plate for the Padres, Tommy Pham comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Bounce it to the left side. Bryant is up with it. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Stepping up to the plate, Manny Machado. Manny. Two and two. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. The 1 2. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Myers is under it. He's got it one away. So in now for Chicago. Kyle Schwarber. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. A little bit outside. Two and one. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Now a hard liner. 
3 2 pitch. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Two hits in 13 at bats in the series so far. To two balls and two strikes now. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. The second baseman. And is the second baseman Jason Kipnis is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Ryan Dozier at the plate. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. And boy, that misses as well. It's back-to-back -back walks to start out the inning. Coming to the plate now, Francisco Mejia. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2-2. Shoots this one over to first. Rizzo is there. The second for one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Denelson Lamette. Runner in scoring position with two guys. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Slow roller out to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So here now is the pitcher, Jose Quintana, 9 1 and 2 due up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. In for strike two. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Pham moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. Settling in now, Javier Baez. First time up, he went down looking. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Here's Jason Hayward now. And this is low, ball two. Two and one.
Ball even at two and two. Cubs to this point have yet to break into the hit column. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. Now batter, third baseman, Chris. Into the box, Chris Bryant. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Ligares. The one two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Liner towards second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So here's Will Myers looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats so another foul ball here and it remains one and two hot shot to third Bryant's got it and there are two away now digging in now for San Diego Tommy Pham this guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column now the one and one pitch hit down the third baseline Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Now the three and two pitch. On the ground for Dozier at second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So one away here in the Chicago fourth, and that brings in Anthony Rizzo. 1-1. Hit sharply on the ground. Dozier fields it cleanly, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Now the 2-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Cleanup spot for the Padres. Fernando Tatis Jr. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 1 home. Guys, it's awesome how the Padres always do such a great job honoring the United States military, isn't it? Yeah, teams around the league show a lot of appreciation for the various military branches, but with San Diego being one of the biggest military towns in the country, this organization has always been one of the best at saying thank you for everything those men and women do. Every Sunday game, and they've been doing it for years, they're up there getting a chance to take in a ball game. Yeah, and how cool is that? It's really become a staple of what this Padres organization does. And it's one of those things that make you stop and remember how lucky we are that we get to come to the yard and watch a ball game. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Brian Dozier now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Hard on the ground towards short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. The 
the next Cub up, Ian Happ. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Pham is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. So the now base is empty here with one away. Base. And standing Jason. in now, the power-hitting okay. second baseman, Jason Kipnis. The one-two. Line toward the gap in left center. And Kipnis is going to reach on a base hit. The pitcher, number 52, Jose. In now, Jose Quintana. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. There's one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So striding in, Josh Naylor. He drew a walk his first time up. The one-two. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes again, one-two. A bouncer up the middle. Baez ranging to his right. And a good throw gets him one gone. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. The one-two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Riding in once again, Denelson Lamette. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And the Padres pitcher behind with a 1 and 2 count. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Javier Baez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Tough pitch to lay off but he did and it's ball four. So the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now a swinging bunt. Pulled toward right center field. Myers is after it. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Now that is the third baseman. Good. Blake now. Chris Bryant. This is popped up. Machado is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here now the 2 2. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. 3-2 pitch. There's ball four. So striding forward now. Anthony Rizzo. No hits to this point. Anthony Rizzo. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Dozier. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired.
The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Juan Ligares. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. The right fielder. Now in the box, Will Myers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap run, or even worse, hit a two-run home. Now at the play, Tommy Pham. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Wow, the Padres have been scuffling so far. They need to get a big hit, and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. As a look, now the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. One there on the Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And that'll bring in Manny Machado. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. So digging in now, Kyle Schwarber. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now batting, Ian Happ. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Happ with a 2 and 1 count now. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. 3 and 1 to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out and Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to Taken high and deep to right. Myers going back at the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brian Dozier. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Brian Dozier is sent packing to begin the bottom of the seventh. Bryant is up with it. And there's out number two. Stepping into the box, Francisco Mejia. He went down on strikes last time up. Quintana's ready. 1-1 pitch on its way. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Hit back up the middle. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over.
Luis Perdomo will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Austin Hedges will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. One one. Number eighteen. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. To two balls and two strikes now. Fouled off. And another foul ball. All even at two and two. Here it is. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Therefore it is Dozier and that's the first out. At the plate, Javier Baez. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. 1 and 1, here it comes. Hit out towards second. There is Dozier. And there are two away now. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Jason Hayward. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Stepping in, Austin Hedges. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. Rowan Wick is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Stepping in now, Juan Ligares. Two and one to Juan Ligares. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Will Myers will be next. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. Striding in, Will Myers. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A good pass at that ball just a little late and now the count's full. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. Digging in to try it again. Tommy Pham. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. And it's fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Fouled away. Here's the two and two. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he set down for the second time this afternoon.
standing in Chris Bryant. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air but he can't collapse the backside and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that up. And there's your go ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. The number 40. Wilson. Standing in now Wilson Contreras. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. The batter. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. They could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Drew Pomerantz, a lefty standing six foot six, takes over the pitching duties here. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 and 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. 3 and 2 now. And he misses ball 4. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So stepping in, Ian Happ 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 2-1 home. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Fam will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Stepping now up batting. now, Jason Kipnis. He's got a hit in three Jason. at bats to this point. And look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. He's set. Here's the 2 2. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Right side. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Nico Horner will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number two, Nico. Three runs already home here. A ball and two strikes now. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Javier Baez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Two men are on with two men out. All even now, two and two. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ligares is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Ryan Tapera comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And in steps Manny Machado. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. There's a foul ball off to the right side and that'll move the count to 1 and 2. 
Now the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now with the plate, Brian Dozier. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1 1. Misses for the second ball. One out, nobody on. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Josh Naylor will be next. The three one. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. This one's down to third. Bryant's got it. Throw on to first, and the Padres are down to their final out now. Ready for another chance. Josh Naylor. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. The 1 1 pitch. Hard liner to center field. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So, worst case scenario, a two out base hit, and the pitcher will not lead off next inning. Eric Hosmer will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Runner on first with two away. San Diego down to their final strike. This is skied into short left center. Baez ranging into the outfield. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point. But to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Cubs came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Rowan Wick claims the win out of the pen his first. Ryan Tapera closes the door for the save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Three runs, six hits, one error. They left nine men on base. For the Padres, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safe.